guys. Well, let's see how much trouble this video is going to get me into. Uh, you, you know, you just reach a point when you got nothing left to lose. So this is when you've got nothing left to lose <laughs> at, 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 at this point. Uh, I mean, you guys are welcome to listen in on this, but this is a video specifically, this is a video going out to Michael in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Michael in Pittsburgh, uh, I understand from your wife that you listen occasionally to my videos, which I, <laughs> which I find a little hard to believe, brother, uh, that, that you've been, that you, it must be a very rare occurrence uh, that Michael in Pittsburgh uh, listens to Hambone Little Tail Humpty Dumpty Tribe videos anyway. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm hoping, brother, this is one of those rare times that you're tuning in to Humpty Dumpty Tribe because I've been needing to talk to you, dude, for about four years. Now, I have never met you, brother, okay? I, I have seen pictures of you. That I know a little bit uh, about you. Uh, you know, whatever I could find online, and uh, more importantly, talking to your wife and watching your wife's videos. Uh, I guess your wife uh, no longer uh, has a channel, I, and I honestly don't know if you had anything to do with, uh, with your wife pulling down the channel. So anyway, brother, I just want you to understand that I have absolutely no hard feelings towards you, dude. I, I, I have never met you. For all I know, you're, you're, you're the nicest guy in the world. Never met you. I've heard a couple of rumors that, you, you know, I'm not the nicest guy in the world, all right? You're probably... Just like me and most people, you're, you're, you're probably just some average schmuck uh, going about your business, doing your fucking job, trying to make your mortgage, buy the goddamn groceries, whatever. I have got no truck with you whatsoever, brother. I am not trying to stir up shit with you. I, I, I just need to put some things on the table, Michael. If uh, if you had been a regular, uh, if you had been a regular viewer of Humpty Dumpty Tribe, you probably would have figured out uh, at some point in the last four fucking years that I am in love with your wife. I I I, I am not just in love with your wife. Your wife, uh, I guess now, how many years have you guys been married? 15 years, I'm guessing. Is it 15, 16 years? Your wife of uh, 15 or 16 years has pretty much destroyed my fucking life. Okay? Uh, this woman, uh, I call her... I don't know if if you're familiar with uh, with Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. I, I of course I call your wife Dulcinea, and uh, I have been hopelessly in love with your wife since the very moment I even saw her on video. I have actually gotten together, how many times have I actually physically gotten together with your wife, brother? Let's see. Five times. I have been 
in my entire life, physically in the presence of your wife, uh, let me choose my Bill Clinton uh, semantics very carefully. I have never had sex with, with your wife. I have never had sex with your wife, okay? I just want to make that clear. Okay? I have never had sex with your wife, and Bill Clinton will back me up on that. Uh, but th th this really isn't about m me wanting to have sex with your wife. Uh, I probably could have, uh, well, I know I could have had sex with your wife four years ago, uh, and, and, and anyway, this isn't about sex. <clears throat> Brother, I am hopelessly, helplessly in love with your wife, and I want your wife I don't know if wife is, is even a word. I, I, I don't care if your wife ever becomes my wife, but I want your wife to be my woman, my doomer chick forever. I want your wife, brother, to be my woman until the day I die. Your wife is the woman I have been waiting for my entire life. The, I mean, even when I saw your, your wife's face on YouTube uh, for the first time four years ago, <clears throat> I, I was already in love. And my God, the first time I actually saw your wife uh, in, 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 in person, uh, 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 you know, all I can say, brother, you've heard of Cupid's arrow, so I don't even know if you ever got shot by Cupid's arrow. I, uh, I, 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 I look at your wife, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> you know, my very limited relationship with her over the last four years, and, 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 and just the little glimpses I have of you, brother, and again, this, this this is nothing pejorative that I'm saying about you. I look at her, and, and I look at you, and th th this is no insult against either one of you. I simply have no fucking clue how this woman, the woman that I want to be by my side till the day I, I ended up with you. I, 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 I am completely fucking clueless how the two of you ever got together. Uh, it, 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 it is so obvious to me that you and your wife do not belong together. It, it, it just isn't a good match. I, I, I don't know uh, how the fuck you ever met. I don't fucking care how the two of you ever met. Uh, it is none of my fucking business of what Dulcinea saw in you. Uh, obviously, I, I know that you're a successful businessman uh, in, uh, in, in Pittsburgh, that you're giving her a beautiful home and and a secure lifestyle that you're essentially her meal ticket and her enabler. Uh, but but I, I, I mean, I understand why Dulcinea, I, I guess why she got together with you, and, and, and I clearly understand why the woman I love uh, continues to stay with you. <clears throat> I don't know the last time the two of you fucked. Uh, four years ago, she was she was telling me 
uh, you know, when she was trying to convince me to have sex with her, I said, Dulcinea, I do not have sex with married women. It's just something I don't do. And Dulcinea, uh, your wife told me, Hambun, it, it, it's not even adultery <clears throat> that uh, I have not fucked uh, my husband in 10 years. So I guess after 10 years uh, 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 of not having sex, I, I, I don't know uh, if that statement is even true. I have, uh, I have caught Dulcinea more than once, not so much lying as just being a little bit confused uh, uh, about things in her past or the way she reports them to people. And then, you know, when you bring up something she might have said, you know this better than me, she has no fucking memory uh, of ever having said it. And so anyway, I don't know, I don't give a fuck at this point, brother. Okay? I don't give a fuck. Uh, wh whether you, you two uh, stop fucking 14 years ago or not. It, this is not about fucking. This is the fact that your wife is my twin flame. She is my soulmate. Uh, for better or worse, she is not your twin flame. She is not your soulmate. She might be legally on a fucking piece of paper. Your wife, I understand that. Uh, you might have been, if not fucking her, you might have been feeding her, housing her, clothing her, whatever, for the, for the past 14, 15 years, and you feel like you have some sort of vested interest in this woman, I'm not arguing that with you, brother. I'm, I'm giving you all that. But the, 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 the bottom line is this. I, 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 I and, and again, dude, I want you to understand this is absolutely no insult to you. If, 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 if your wife wasn't involved and, and I just met you, I mean, I'm sure you're a great guy to go out and have a beer with or whatever. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that your wife is my soulmate and my twin flame and my doomer chick forever. And your wife understands this, okay? I am 100% convinced that your wife understands that I am her twin flame and I am her soulmate. But obviously, you have gotten her through whatever mechanisms uh, in, 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 uh, in, in some sort of comfort trap probably has something to do with the beautiful home uh, that you provide her, the, uh, the financial security that you provide her. My guess is that you're very emotionally stable, that you're not flighty, or what, what, that, that you're probably, uh, you, you know, I, I, I'm just guessing if, you know, for any normal average woman, any normie average woman, putting you next to me, okay, if, if, <laughs> if you and I, uh, if, you're, if your wife was not involved in this, and you and I both went on to pile of fish internet dating, I guarantee you that you would have a hell of a lot more 
normie vanilla women uh, interested in you than, than anybody interested in me. I don't argue this, that you uh, have a lot more what normie women would consider some pretty nice things, but the fact is, and, and you know this better than me, dude, your wife is not a normie. The, uh, Dulcinea is not a normie. Okay? On any fucking level. Uh, and and I, 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 I gotta tread carefully here, dude. You and I both know, both know, and I and I am quite sure, brother, you know this a hell of a lot more than I do, that your wife and my twin flame and soulmate is one of the most batshit crazy women on the planet. That uh, she she is a complete fucking lunatic. You know this. I know this. Anyone who's ever watched her videos and, 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 and tried to warn me away, we all know your wife is a batshit crazy lunatic that would drive any man completely insane to have in his life. And, and, there, and, there, and there's got to be, uh, on some level, I know, dude, and don't fucking deny it, Michael, that, that on some level, you're thinking, take her! Fucking take her so I can get on Polyfish and find me a nice normal girlfriend. I guarantee you, brother, if you if if you let me have your wife, I guarantee fucking tee you that within hell a fucking week. Okay? You will have a nice normie woman. Uh, who would absolutely uh, love to, uh, you know, uh, live in that beautiful home uh, and, and drive a nice car and enjoy your insurance plan and whatever. It's not like you are going to be alone for the rest of your life if you lose uh, this, if you lose your wife, it, it's, uh, it, it's going to be a big fucking load off your shoulders. But if I don't get your wife, I am fucked till the day I die. Your wife has destroyed any chance I ever have of, of getting in a relationship with another woman till the day I die. It's, uh, it, 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 if you had ever met anybody in your life that affected you the way your wife affects me, you would know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to go to my fucking grave if, 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 if you don't, turn over your wife to me, you are committing me to a, just to a lifetime uh, of loneliness and depression. And uh, I, I, I got a lot of time uh, in my life. I've got a lot of big holes to fill. I've got a pretty good fucking life. Uh, I, I no longer have. Now, I used to you know, I would have been able, uh, up until about 15 years ago, to provide to your wife everything that you're providing to her. But the difference is, when I was in that position, if the universe had put your wife in front of me, I would not have recognized her for my twin flame soulmate, that I had to go through some various evolutions. 
and uh, so uh, I, I, I cannot promise you that, that that your wife is going to enjoy quite the same level of uh, financial, emotional uh, stability, uh, whatever that that you're able to offer her. Uh, but I can promise you this that she that that your wife will always have a roof over her head. She's never gonna be homeless. She's never gonna go to bed hungry at night, okay? Uh, she might be living in a tiny house. Uh, half the year, she might be living in some beat-up old fucking trailer for half of the year, whatever. Uh, she's gonna have a roof over her head. She's not gonna freeze to death. She's not gonna starve to death. Okay? So, come on, dude. Just let it the fuck go. You've had her for 15 years. And it's time for you just to pass her off to me. Now, uh, uh, of course, your wife is going to vehemently deny uh, ever saying this to me. But what, what your wife's idea was, a couple of years ago, we were, she and I were trying to figure this out. So her idea, which she will have no memory of uh, whatsoever, her idea was this, that, the, you know, I run this uh, vacation rental business I, uh, uh, up here in New York. I'm, you're probably somewhat, uh, you might have heard about that. So her idea was that the two of you, that you and your wife come up here and rent a place for a few days, this perfectly reasonable idea that the two of you come to my place and, 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 and rent a place, and you would see what a beautiful place that I have created here. You would see that I'm not the fucking whack job <coughs> that I appear to be, that I, that, that I have created this beautiful place, this successful business uh, that your wife could become part of. Uh, she will be able to get an income uh, from right here. Uh, and that once you saw what a great guy I was, that you would just gladly say, well, Hambone, you're right. Uh, my wife uh, belongs with you. And as much as your wife tried to talk me into this very sensible idea like a fucking fool, once again, I did not listen to a woman and I nixed the idea. I, I told her that was not going to work that when she is ready to leave you for me, then at that, when she makes that decision, well, that it, it, it's been four fucking years, dude. Uh, it's obvious to me that she is never just going to leave you. She, it's not you that she's, she's not going to leave that beautiful home. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so what I'm, what, what I'm asking is, can you just give her a little bit of a shove? Just, you know, a little bit of a shove. I, I'm just asking you man to man. Just one nice guy to another. Can you just give your wife a little bit of a shove in my direction? And I, you know, I would do the same for you. If, if I were you and I had been dealing with this absolutely batshit 
mentally ill drama queen uh, for the past 15 years, especially if she hadn't handed over the fucking pussy uh, and, and over 10 years, uh, you know, if, if the tables were turned and I was dealing with what you're dealing with, dude, and, and somebody like me came along offering to take her off your hands, I would be on it like stink on shit. Uh, and, and so I, I know this is a lot for, for you to take in, you know, never, never, uh, you, you, you know, personally meeting me. But uh, I, I, I'm not such a bad guy. Uh, I will treat your wife uh, like, like, like an absolute queen, and she will be with the man that she was born to be with. She knows this, that she belongs with me, that I am every bit as much her twin flame soulmate as she is mine. And, and it's just the way things worked out. It was, it was just one of these flukes of the universe that you ended up with the wrong woman. Or she ended up with the wrong man. This is not saying anything bad about either one of you. Uh, it, it, it's just that you ended up with the wrong person. And I am the obvious fit. So, I just, I just want you to sleep on this. I mean, you might want to discuss this with your wife a little bit, you know, like, well, you know, Dulcinea, uh, I heard this video uh, that this dude Hambone put out, and, uh, you know, the more I listened to him, the more sense he made. So I think he's right. So what I think is that you should give it a try. Just, just go give it a try. Give it three months. Go down there, hook up with Hambone, give it three months, and if it doesn't work out, it's no big fucking deal. Just come on back home. Uh, just you guys, just you and Hambone, try it for three months, see if you really are twin flame soulmates, and, and that uh, Hambone is the man that you're supposed to be with until the day you die. Uh, if it works out that way, fine. I will go over on Pile of Fish, and, and, and I will get me some nice, normie, non-batshit crazy girlfriend to spend the rest of my life with. And, and Hambone can spend the rest of his life with you, and, and everybody, all four of us, will, will be happier. I, 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 so anyway, I, I, this is all I can do from just man to man. Uh, ask me, uh, ask you to, to, to uh, let me have your wife. I will uh, send you a bottle of top shelf tequila. I will trade some really good tequila for your wife. So anyway, uh, you, you know where to find me. It's Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com. Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com. Michael, send me a fucking email. Let's talk. Uh, we can meet up, uh, just you and I, I think you and I should meet up for lunch next week. Uh, I'm going to be in Pittsburgh. Uh, we should meet up for lunch, get to know each other a little bit, and, and then, uh, and, 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 and then call Dulcinea to come join us and, uh, just have a, uh, a, 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 a passing of the baton. It sounds absolutely reasonable to me, so I'm throwing it out there 
the ball is in your court, uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com. Send me an email, and uh, and we will do lunch to talk about you giving me your wife. Anyway, I don't know what else to add to that. I really appreciate you sleeping on this. You can sleep on this for two nights. And I, you know, talk about it with Dulcinea uh, if, she's, if she's on her meds. Uh, and, and, you know, and see what y'all come up with and get back to me. Um, I'm, I will be checking my email every day like uh, Charlie Brown waiting for his valentine from the little red-haired girl. Okay. What else can I say, Michael? I'm counting on you, brother. I'm counting on you. Thank you. All right, little dog. I don't know what else to do. That's my best shot to get your Auntie Dulcinea to be your new mama. Do you want your Auntie Dulcinea to be your new mama or what? Or would you rather get Mousies laid out? Bye, guys.